What's up guys, that really gross guy here. We are back, I'm so excited. Today, Heart of Deimos has dropped and we have lots of content coming our way. We have a deluxe skins, uh, a galore, well, the, this deluxe skin that we're gonna talk about in this episode, but we also have a bunch of other, uh, you know, skin slash cosmetic stuff, all sorts of whatnot, uh, weapons. So really excited about that, but I want to make sure, I'm gonna probably mention this a few times, uh, one in each episode, but I want people to make sure if they're confused, the helmet with the ability swaps is not yet unlockable unless you have made your way into rank three, I believe, with the Entrati family on the Heart of Deimos or in the uh, the Cambian Drift. So if you are confused with why you cannot ability swap yet, that is why. So. You can explore the uh, the opportunities of the Heart of Demos in order to get through that ranking system, but there is a lot of confusion as to why, number one, uh, you can't really access the helmet through them unless you have a cyst on your neck, and even if you get in there, you cannot ability swap yet. Um, I will, I mean, I think I can go in there with this Hydroid, which is the new Hydroid skin, which we are going to talk about, but I just want to show you, double check, I just popped the cyst with this hydroid. I cannot access the room. When I was in there and I popped the cyst, I could not interact with the helm and the system uh, whatsoever. No ability swapping, none of that other stuff. So uh, that is that is off limits at least until you hit that rank up to rank three. So jumping in, taking a look at the new hydroid skin. So uh, this is by Liger Inuza, Inuaka, Inuza, uh, anyways. Uh, Liger creating these awesome deluxe skins, which pretty much uh, he has been now brought on board to contract out a lot of his work, which is really, really awesome. Congratulations. But we are in taking a look at the Hydroid Rakam uh, deluxe skin, looking absolutely gorgeous. I know tons of people are hyped about this skin, the Pirate Prime, uh, well, pirate the like the pirate skin. Um, but you can see it here in all of its default color scheme glory. Absolutely awesome. I think this looks great. Um, I always enjoyed Hydroid. He was, when he first came out, I, I thoroughly enjoyed him for quite a while. He was my most used frame um, when he came out, and then he dwindled off, you know, as the game went on. But uh, he's he's cool, and it seems like there's there's definitely a very select die-hard group of fans for Hydroid, which is really cool. But before we get into the color schemes, I want to show you the uh, the content that came with the deluxe bundle. We have specifically the spear gun, uh, you know, uh, skin, which is the Carcinus, the yeah Carcinus spear gun skin, which looks pretty awesome. It fits really well to kind of his design. Um, oh, that's that's pretty cool. The, like this ice spike type thing down here, which is pretty neat. And uh, yeah, overall, it looks really, really cool. Um, there you have it, pretty neat. There is also, um, there was that the Kraken Deluxe skin that was shown on there, which I thought didn't look good pretty much at all. Um, apparently didn't make it into the game, at least as of this point. Like maybe they just scrapped the idea, but there was no skin for the Kraken that came out with a bundle or anything like that. So uh, that's kind of interesting. An interesting little tidbit and then of course if you have a dirija and you bought the bundle you get the dirija skin and this thing looks so good very very cool uh you can see the dirija here it also comes with the little attachments if you buy the bundle um i believe the dirija is required in the bundle and all that stuff but anyways uh we'll jump in look at the attachments so you have the sith sentinel mask which you can see this little guy here, the sentinel wings, which are these little guys over off to the side, and then the little tail, which is back on this side. Pretty cool, I like this little guy, it's pretty cool. Uh, I don't know, I don't know. Anyways, um, we will jump over and start playing around with the deluxe skin, looking absolutely gorgeous. There is the really cool auxiliary, which is specific for Hydroid uh, comes with the deluxe skin, but you cannot put this on other frames. It's not a Cyandana. Um, it is specifically in the attachments under the auxiliary slot. You can see here um, his back is, you know, big broad back with uh, you know the energy flow that runs through it. Um, some people might prefer to throw a Cyandana on here. 
Um, I really, really like the coat, personally. Um, I think it looks really, really awesome. Even just throwing this coat on the uh, like the original Hydroid skin really pumps up that, that look. I think it looks really good. Um, but I, I'm going to run the, the coat. You could throw a Cyandana on top of this if you really wanted to. You could technically do something... You know something extravagant like that i personally think i'm gonna leave it as is because i think the coat is good enough um but very cool like i said this is the default color scheme we'll jump through and take a look at a bunch of different uh color schemes i'm going to first i'm gonna jump over to the hydroid prime that i got just from watching tenocon 2020 um and i'm gonna show you the ones that i've already done colors of and then I'm gonna jump into my previous Hydroid fashion frames, swap them over, see what happens. Uh, some of them will look good, some of them will not. But uh, yeah, we'll, we'll take a look at that. Let's jump over, like I said, to my new Hydroid, which uh, I have, like I said, I have some color schemes for. Right here is more of like a pure water, uh, ocean style uh, color scheme. Um, I think this looks really, really cool. Uh, running blue energy color, very, very water-like, very flowy. Um, runs a bunch of different blue colors and in the right kind of accents and the grays which kind of sets it as like a shadowy kind of look um, and then the coat comes across I think pretty well in this color scheme kind of this white-ish uh, energy flowy color that comes off of it as well um, but all in all I think that looks pretty cool if I don't say so myself I don't know I don't know what do you what do you guys think you guys uh, you guys hyped about the skin um, I, I, I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised at how good uh, it looks, uh, to be honest. Um, after I've done some randomizations, which you can see, you know, stuff like this. Um, very, well, I don't want to say very edgy. It's, it's pretty edgy, but I put this green energy flow color through it, which kind of just pops with it, and I think it looks pretty neat. Um, I guess you would say it's like the algae kind of like color he is pirate water frame um however the rest of it kind of is not aquatic whatsoever very edgy so i don't know but if you wanted like a, a sea tyrant of uh you know a pirate tyrant kind of hydroid um i think this looks pretty cool uh, if you want to go all edgy if you really want to go through the route of taking away the the blue and making it you know red and edgy uh you could do that you know what i mean um i'd have to change both the energy colors anyways um, something a little bit different. I don't know. Maybe you like it. Maybe you don't. Jump into the C color uh, or C C uh, fashion frame. Something more green like. Something that's a little bit off the wall, but plays with that um, that I don't want to say emerald aesthetic, but something that's been growing on me is kind of incorporating um, green as my primaries for some of my frames, and it's it comes across pretty good on a frame like this. However, it is down here in the tertiary just because the colors flip flop a little weird from the base, uh, you know, whatever. Like if I were to switch over and click on the regular hydroid, um, well, actually, it is kind of tertiary. You'll you'll see in a little bit. You'll see that the colors change a lot. There's a lot of black and green, and then when I switch it over, it goes white. So, you know, anyways, we'll jump over, take a look at the D slot. Something that is similar to the previous one, but a lot more swampy, uh, you know, more like algae, more, uh, you know, seaweedy type, I don't know, darker depths of the, the ocean, I guess, kind of, uh, or swampy. I don't know. Anyway, um, I like this look. Um, I don't know which one I prefer more, which is why I kind of did both. Um, one I'll probably end up randomizing and turning into something else, but if you are going with like kind of that green aesthetic or something that still fits the pirate kind of feel, um, these two, I feel like you could pick one or the other. Um, but anyways, jumping in, something that is a little bit more true to the default color scheme, but with some tweaks. Um, these are similar colors to the default, but they are, uh, I don't want to say they're, they're, they're just tweaked because these are complete they're, they're very different colors but it follows down the avenue of what the default color looks like um i'll show you a before and after with the default colors but i think i like this more than default color scheme but down that avenue i really like it anyways uh i don't want to go off on too much of a tangent uh this one a bit more stone like um i don't know this was something that is is a totally different feel but as as like this tyrant looking frame um this pirate like frame i think it looks really good in this like 
I don't know, earthy color scheme. Uh, I don't know. I think it looks pretty cool. But anyways, uh, jumping from the E slot, like I said, this is the, uh, the my custom color scheme that plays very close to the default color scheme. And now we will take a quick look at the actual default color scheme, which is this one. So similar, but a lot more watered down in terms of colors and a little bit more bluish. Um, no yellows, you know you see what I mean? No real yellows. Um, and then switching over, playing around. Oop, uh, oop, not that one. It was uh, this one. So more blues, a little bit of purple, down that avenue, but different. All right, so uh, getting into some of my current color schemes and what they look like when they're transferred over. This is my full prime hydroid uh, playing with the white and gold kind of uh, aesthetic for the prime rather than the regular default. Um, we have, uh, let's see, oop, switch it over. And you can see changes significantly when it becomes prime. Uh, we'll throw on the auxiliary just to, oh yeah, that, and then copy main. So very different. You can tell that the body completely swaps into the gray rather than the, the white, and very, very different. Um, I don't think, I think I'm gonna leave this one as my normal hydroid. Actually, see, kind of like I was mentioning, I think the coat still looks really, really good on the, the frame anyways. So I think I'm gonna do that. I think I'm gonna do that, that's pretty cool. Uh, jumping over to his second uh, tab, this is his default color scheme. I'll randomize this in maybe a little bit, but jumping into something that is a lot more blue, dark and, uh, like, well, dark and metallic blues. Um, what happens when we switch this over? We get something that still seems to look pretty cool. Um, yeah, I like that. It's almost like a celestial uh, water pirate. I don't know, uh, maybe, maybe it doesn't make any sense to you, but I feel like, uh, like this would be the, the sea pirate from another planet. I don't know. Um, Looks pretty sweet, I think. Um, I don't know. I don't know what you guys think about that one. Uh, this one, definitely Edgelord. Um, I customized this one specifically for this video to see what happens when we go all in on the edge. Uh, <laughs> don't push me, cause I'm close to the edge. And we have that, basically. So if you are going full Edgelord, uh, you get something similar to this if you wanted to tweak, uh, maybe, oops, that's the, the coat, if you wanted to, well, actually, you know what, just turning that, like a white or a gray, really helps it not be so dark, um, if you wanted to tweak maybe this one, oh, you know what, that would work too, then you could get something a little bit brighter, so it's not, you know, it's not that dark, I feel like that's too, Need some gray or some some light light colors in there so something down that avenue pretty nice uh, we'll go into our e slot this one a little bit more i don't know uh celestial i guess uh we'll say what we'll see what happens when we swap this one over um interesting see what happens when we put the coat on uh and default all right i don't think it looks bad uh, I don't know if I would probably run this. Um, like I said, I'm probably going to have my other Hydroid Prime be the uh, the new deluxe skin, full fashion frame version. Um, this one, I feel like, just does better in the original aesthetic. Um, maybe you guys don't agree. Another one that looks great with the coat, though. Um, so maybe I'll leave the coat on. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I think it looks pretty cool. Um, we'll jump over F slot, something a little bit, it's got more grayish brown, um, and then green all over the place, which kind of gives it that, you know, a seaweed type feel. And you can see colors completely flip flop on the deluxe. And then we go into attachments, get that auxiliary and copy. And that looks actually really good. I like that quite a bit. Um, I might go a little bit more down this avenue with that earthy one that we saw before on the other Hydroid Prime. I might throw a little bit of green in there just to give it a little bit more of a Hydroid feel. Um, but that doesn't look too bad. That doesn't look bad at all. Um, I'm gonna play around with some of these. I might end up 
transferring some of these color schemes over to my deluxe version of my other Hydra Prime, this guy. Um, but we'll see. Um, let's go and just do a quick randomization on these other ones. This is my first ever hydroid color scheme specifically to be a swamp creature. Let's see what happens when we swap this one over. Um, that's actually pretty sick. I don't know. Maybe you guys hate it. Maybe you don't. Um, if we do that, obviously my attachments are sticking through, but just to make this quick and easy, uh, my sign down and sticks through a bit. But that actually looks pretty sweet. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know. Maybe you guys completely disagree, but uh, I'll go back. I'll go back to my original. Um, I don't know. That's my, my first ever hydroid. I don't really want to change it. Um, we'll go with something. I randomized this one. I don't know when, but we'll see what happens when we switch this one over. Oh, you know what? So far, it doesn't look too bad. Okay. It's definitely edgy. Definitely, uh... Yeah. Hmm... Maybe, maybe the blue thrown on to the edgelord makes him truly a water edgelord. I don't know, the, the, the edgelord of the seas, I guess. Um, interesting. I don't know. It's not for me. Um, the original one wasn't for me either. That ran, the previous, you know, this one, uh, this, that hideous. Anyways, I figured I'd just show you. Uh, this one a little bit swampy. See what happens when we swap this one over. Um, oh, that's so far. That's actually not too bad. Uh, swap this one. You know what? That's actually pretty neat. I like that. I like that. Maybe not enough to make it in my final five or six fashion frames, but I do like this. Um, I don't know. I like it. I like it. Anyways, uh, jump into my last one. Try and make this go really quick. Video is probably far too long. I apologize. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do any randomizations. Maybe I'll do a, just a few for you guys here in a little bit. Uh, that's really cool, actually. That's really, really cool. Uh, we'll take our auxiliaries, put the coat on. Oh, wow. That's really cool. <sighs> I like it. I like it. I like it quite a bit. Um, ooh, because this used to be my original like tyrant of the seas kind of look i think it was this one yeah this used to be my original uh hydroid tyrant kind of look but man does it just really just the coat number one kicks it up a notch and then switching it to the new skin even if i left the helmet uh, but switching it up to this one really just like it's like evolving from a charmeleon to a charizard shut up I'm, <laughs> don't I'm a, I'm, I'm a nerd okay um that's pretty dope that's pretty dope all right so we're gonna go uh let's see uh, uh da -da -da -da, appearance b slot um i already did this one looks cool definitely like a watered down watery tyrant looks pretty neat um i like it I like it. I don't know. Maybe you guys disagree, but very watery, very, uh, very hydroid-esque, which is why I kept it. Um, if I, yeah, let's, let's swap this one over. Oh, this one goes a little bit, little bit all over the place. Let's see. We'll go auxiliary. Bam. Copy main colors. I guess. If you wanted a crazy pastel-y hydroid of the seas, something that, uh, you know, you might see in like a, a dynasty warriors villain or something i don't know i don't know yeah I, it's not for me but maybe one of you out there is like yes that is my aesthetic <laughs> power to you uh that's cool um but yeah not for me uh all right so real quick i don't want this like i said i don't want this video to go too much longer let me jump in i think it was this one. Oh, that's a totally different warframe what am i doing uh, over here let's take that second slot which is the default color scheme See if we just start randomizing. Uh, maybe some potential there. That doesn't look too bad, actually. Let me go, not sign down, attachments. Uh, the coat, or not the coat, but just the colors. Ah, that's not too bad. Not too bad. Um, let's go, it, it plays very close to the original color scheme. Oh, this is another one of those green energy kind of deals. That's, that's, that's neat, that's neat. Maybe not, not gonna make my final five. Uh, we'll go random again a few times. A little bit of an orange. 
a bit interesting. I keep doing that because I keep thinking Sayandana. Uh, copy main colors. That's not too bad. Maybe a little bit too much orange for me, but it's not bad. Um, let's go random again. Something a little galactic. That's kind of neat. Playing with kind of that, that like space uh, galactic celestial. Not celestial. That's more angelic. Anyways, um, pretty cool. Uh, I'm, I'm actually pleasantly surprised at how much I, I like this skin. Um, oh, that's that's neat. That's something way out of left field, but cool enough to kind of pique your interest. To see something like this in the in the well, Fortuna and like that neon kind of neon color scheme. I don't know. Um, that's neat. I might save this actually just to hang out in Fortuna sixty nine. <laughs> just saying, uh, as the new neon pirate of uh, galactic neon pirate. Um, very interesting, but. That's going to be it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I spent a lot of platinum for this video and uh, and probably a few upcoming videos to play around with all the new stuff from the uh, the update. Uh, I am not currently partnered with Warframe. I'm, I have to get my application in still. Um, I'm going through the process of, of figuring all that out. But um, I spent a lot of platinum on this. Thumbs up comments would be greatly appreciated. And truly... Thank you from the bottom of my heart. I've had a few videos come out recently that has seen a lot of support from you guys. Thank you so much. It has really, really helped. Um, just just kind of the algorithm and uh, the, the interaction with the videos has, uh, is, if it hasn't helped the algorithm, um, it's definitely made me a lot, feel a lot better about just putting out content for you guys. Um, I'm gonna try to just, just, deliver you guys content without overthinking it because I have been overthinking a lot of my content recently and that has been forcing a lot of stuff to just not get uploaded to YouTube. I have something that has been sitting on my laptop, a project I've been working on for weeks that I have not done yet because I just keep criticizing it and I keep changing it. And anyways, um, thank you for your support. Truly, I'll see you guys again in the next episode. Blah!